Hey guys, welcome to the WordPress Visual Course for Beginners. Step by step, you will learn how to build any kind of website in WordPress using a free visual builder. So in this first chapter, you are going to learn the basic initial steps. Get a domain, get a hosting provider, and point your domain to your hosting provider. Are you ready? Let's go. First step is to buy a domain. You usually buy domains in name registers. Some name registers are, for example, name.com, namecheap.com, um, dynadot.com, or you can even buy them in Google domains. In this tutorial, I'm going to use GoDaddy, another name register. So you can choose whatever suits you best. Um, they basically work the same. Um, you should go to their homepage and then find the field where you should start searching for your domain name that you have in mind. So, for example, let's say that I have the motor crew in, in mind, so I'm going to search here if it is available. So, I'm just going to type here. And click on search for domain. Okay, so now it will show if the the, if the domain is available and in which extensions. The extensions is the .com or for example other common extensions is .net, .org, .info as you can see here and in this case we can keep on scrolling down and you will see other different domains. There's some country domains like for example um, .uk from the United Kingdom, .nl from the Netherlands or .fr from France. So choose whatever extension suits you best and then just click and add it to the cart. So um, just say I want the motorcrew.com. So I'm going to add this one to the cart. And if you're done, so I'm going to continue to purchase this. Okay, so um, this part sometimes can be a little bit tricky because name registers um, might want to charge you for some extra services that you might not want. So make sure you don't select all this here. If you don't want privacy protection, privacy and business protection, then just click on no thanks. I recommend you to be a bit careful in this in this part before you you buy the domain and make sh make sure that all the previous steps before you pay you are not selecting other services so you won't be charged all right so i've made sure that i don't want anything else here then i can continue with these options before you complete your purchase you can choose if you want your domain for one year two years three years five or even ten years okay Usually the first year is cheaper, as you can see, and then it will be a bit more expensive depending on how many years you choose. Um, I want to also suggest you something here. Um, make sure your payment details are updated um, just in case your the credit card that you're using is expired because it wouldn't be the first time that this would happen and somebody loses their domain because of this. So. Keep an eye on, on that and also um, on the renewal date because you might miss it and it's also very important to renew your domain or else you can lose it. So when you're done purchasing this, then you're ready to go to next step. Now your domain needs to be hosted on a server, so it's time to buy a hosting provider. There are two possible scenarios here. First scenario is you buy your domain and your hosting service from the same company. Um, companies like, for example, name registers like GoDaddy or hosting services like HostGator, they offer both services. And then you have a second scenario where domain and hosting provider are from different companies. If you're building a website for a client from scratch, this might be the most common scenario. Um, do not worry about it because the only thing that you have to do is point the domain to the hosting server. 
Um, so there are some hosting servers like, for example, um, SiteGround, One and One, um, Bluehost, HostGator, and in this tutorial, I'm going to use Bana Hosting. Whatever server you choose has to cover your needs. So look around a little bit. There are different prices and it will also be different if you're just planning to host one website or you're planning to host several websites. So just look around a little bit. So if your domain and your hosting server are from different companies, what you have to do is point the domain to this server. Um, it might sound a bit scary or even confusing and you might be asking right now, how do I do this? Don't worry, it is pretty, pretty easy. Um, you need to find in your server, your hosting server. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to Bana Host, the, the hosting service that I'm using for this tutorial. And you have to find the DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name Server. So as you see here, I found mine here, um, here in products and services, I have found the name servers, which are this over here. There are two, okay? So these are important because you need this and you have to copy them. Then you have to go back to where you have bought your domain. In this tutorial, I'm using GoDaddy. So I'm going to GoDaddy, I'm logging into my account. And what I'm gonna do is copying this DNS numbers. So this is how you point the domain to the server. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going back to GoDaddy. And here in GoDaddy, somewhere find in your products in this case. Um, this might be similar in in the in the rest of the, the registers. Or if not, find the help section because it will tell you where you have you can find this or where you can change the DNS. Okay, so as you see here, if I selected my products, I have the the domain that I've bought, which is the motor crew. And here I have DNS. So I'm just going to click on this. So here I can manage the name servers. I'm scrolling down until I find the section where I have to enter the name servers. Okay, so you have to find something similar as this. I'm going back to my hosting service and I'm copying this name server. So copy the first one, Control C, and here I'm using Control V to paste it. Going back and copying, sorry, copying the second one. There are usually two, so don't forget about the second one. Whenever it's done, just click on save. It might take a while until you have successfully pointed your domain to your server. So the sooner you do this, the better. Um, as a recommendation, you can do, you might as well do this right away after you buy the domain. We're done with the first steps. Please don't freak out if you find this like a bit too technical for you. After chapter two, your life will be so much easier because you will be designing. So under this video, you can see a really nice button that says subscribe. So if you don't want to miss out whenever a new video is out, then click on it and you will get notified. See you guys in the next chapter.